What's up guys, look what I got. GTX 1080 Founders Edition. Now before some of you say, Armando, why didn't you wait for the third party manufacturers to come out with theirs? Is because I can buy this today and I don't have to wait regardless if they come out, whether it's be a week, a month, whatever. I can buy this today. So I wanna run some benchmarks and see how it does in gaming. And also, I've done some benchmarks of my own with previous cards that I'll share a link down below if you guys wanna compare them. So without further ado, let's get started. So installation on this card was just like any other graphics card. One thing to note though, it does only use one 8-pin connector for power. Now I did run into some driver issues and this seems to be like a common thing, but once we figured it out, I basically handed this over to Carlos so he can do some game testing. God, I keep dying in this game. What is going on guys? My name is Carlos. So we recently just got the GTX 1080 GPU and we wanted to put it through some benchmarks. So here we have an ultra wide monitor. So every single game that we're gonna run is gonna be in a 3440 by 1440p resolution. So starting off with one of my very favorite games of all time, it's Battlefield 4. Now on Battlefield 4, we were averaging around 90 through 100 frames per second. And it was actually really good. Everything was maxed out in the settings. So all of that good stuff was all maxed out. So then I decided to bump it up a bit using the resolution scale and gave it a 200%. So that's when the frame started to dip. It was doing around 30 to 40 frames per second, which isn't terrible. It's still playable, but I mean, most people want that 60 frames per second and above. And then we decided to play a newer game that was just released and it's Doom. So on Doom we were averaging around the same as Battlefield 4, all maxed out 3440 by 1440p resolution. It was doing 90 through 100 frames per second. Again, really really good for a modern day game. And I decided to play one of the older games to see how well it could perform. So I decided to test it out with Metro 2033. Now this is a really high intensive graphical game. Most graphics cards struggle with it. Now I was hoping it would perform like a really good champ, but it was averaging 30 to 40 frames per second. And I mean, that's pretty terrible, right? I was expecting a lot more out of this graphics card. That's one of the games that took a huge toll on the GTX 1080. Aside from the games, we decided to run some benchmarks. So the first benchmarks that we ran were Cinebench R15, where it scored a 128.88 frames per second. And then we decided to run Unigen Valley, which scored a 107.8 frames per second. The GTX 1080, I mean, it's a total beast. And I don't know, I kind of feel I was a bit disappointed with it. I mean, no disrespects at all to the GTX 1080. It's a really great graphics card, but I was expecting a lot more out of it. Now we're still not done testing the GTX 1080. And if there's something you wanna see in particular, make sure you guys leave it down below in the comments. All right, now back to you, Armando. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you like this video. Also, follow me on Snapchat for behind the scenes. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.